Today I have a portrait painting demo for you. Welcome back to the studio. You know, I'm always very happy to have you. Um, today I am doing this lovely portrait of Naima. She is one of my latest Bohemian goddesses, and I think that she is just amazing and incredible, and she's a world traveler, and I just love the stitching detail and that lovely glowing look in her eyes. So Naima was a real pleasure to paint, and as always, I'm using, of course, oil paints on my um, Belgian oil primed linen, which is by far my favorite thing ever to paint on. Um, oh, and I actually did color mixing, like pretty detailed color mixing at the beginning of this video today. So let me know what you think about that. Do you find that super helpful or whatever? I'd be happy to keep doing it. Oh my gosh, the sunset is coming in, so I better hurry up before you can't see me anymore. One more thing I wanted to share. I got Bohemian Valentine's. I am really, really, really excited. Um, these are uh, we're kind of a whim last minute to create, <laughs> to throw everything together on a really short period of time, but I think they turned out really well. The color quality, quality is excellent. They are so beautiful and wonderful, and I am so happy with them. And if you want one, look, you can kind of see, yes, very good, how like lush and lovely the colors are. Uh, if you want one, link down below for you to snag one. I'm pricing them at only 22 bucks, including shipping. So. Get your hands on one of these. They're limited, and I sign the front of each one. Oh, this is covered up because there is a super secret goddess in here, which you will not be able to see unless you put the calendar. So, anyways, I love you for being here. As always, thumbs up, and give me a big old subscribe, and that goes a long way for helping me grow my channel, and I will keep the videos coming. Mwah. Enjoy!
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Real quick, one more time, I am so sorry that I forgot to film painting her actual hair. That was a really fun part of the painting and I'm just like, oh, I cannot believe that I forgot that. I honestly almost completely quashed this entire video just because I'd forgotten to video that part. But then I decided, you know what, no, I spent a lot of time making sure everything was just right for the rest of it, so I um, decided to keep it, but a thousand apologies, and I will not forget the hair next time because hair is actually one of the hardest things that I've had to learn to paint, and so I know it's very useful to be able to watch other people do it. So anyways, sorry about that. Um, and also, I had a quick question. What do you think about the paint mixes in the beginning? Was that helpful? Do you like that? Um, I feel like... You know, a lot of times I'm just painting and so it's kind of blind to you guys for not knowing exactly what colors I'm using and I usually put it in a blog post but then it's like another step. So let me know, should I continue doing that? Do you want me to keep doing my little paint mixes in the beginning? Do you find that helpful? Um, I would love to hear about that. And I just wanted to give a quick mention, um, if you like to get kind of personal with the artists you enjoy, then you should totally jump on my newsletter because um, my newsletter basically it's like once a month I send like a kind of like a personal letter to everyone I call it my birds of a feather list and uh, it's kind of like a little personal letter on what's going on with me behind the studio sometimes it's good sometimes it's like you know maybe some stressors I'm having to deal with but it's kind of where I feel a little bit more comfortable kind of bearing all type of thing um, so anyways I know I don't really mention my newsletter very much but if you want to jump on my birds of a feather list and come join me in the nest I would love to have you I'll put those links down below so anyways I don't want to keep talking but I love you I'll see you soon